नमस्ते जय शनिदेव द पीरियड ऑफ शनि महादशा इज द पीरियड वेन थिंग्स विल मैनिफेस्ट युअर डिजायर्स और द रिवॉर्ड्स दैट यू एक्सपेक्ट विल मैनिफेस्ट विल मटेरियलाइज बट इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन वॉट यू हैव अटेंड इन योर गुरु महादशा इफ देर हैज बीन नो लर्निंग इफ यू हैव रिमेंड एज यू आर इग्नोरंट एरोगंट ऑफेंडिंग देन इन सैटन महादशा यू टेल मी वॉट गुड विल मैनिफेस्ट वॉट गुड विल मटेरियलाइज absolutely nothing so it all depends on how you have lived through your guru mahadasha jupiter mahadasha saturn has a very important task at hand that is to bring back all those people who are living in ignorance arrogance to bring them back to senses it reminds me of a real incident i used to visit a shrine a darga and there was a man who always used to be there he was a old man around 65 years old and i used to go there and we became friends he was fond of me and i was fond of him and we used to sit there and we used to pray and it was a beautiful time one day when i went he told me in the morning a woman came and she seems to be very rich person she came in a big car and she got down and she came and at that point of time i was sweeping the floor because he used to clean all the place all around the shrine and he was the only person there so the woman looked at him and said are you a cleaner now that woman couldn't understand that a 65 years old man how can he be a sweeper or a cleaner but she was in her arrogance i have lots of money and no brain so she said are you a cleaner a sweeper and it was said in a very bad taste but the old man was a wise man he said yes i am a sweeper and then the woman looked at him and said okay and then he went and then she went to enter the shrine and as she was about to enter the shrine suddenly she fell on the ground she slipped you see the master is not angry if you insult him but the master is always angry when you insult his near and dear ones that old man was serving the master for many many years and when you come and without applying any logic or brains you insult him by asking him whether he is a sweeper or a cleaner then actually you are insulting the master and the master will punish you and that is exactly how saturn punishes you when you have been arrogant offending and living in your own world as if you are the only king or queen however if you are a beautiful person in your guru mahadasha if you have learned your lessons you have become more humble more wise than in saturn mahadasha you will see the beautiful results of all these good qualities that you have attained all those will manifest in a beautiful way in saturn mahadasha so my friends it is all based on guru mahadasha it is like a university it is a university and saturn mahadasha is the university of life where you will now gain the actual real life experiences so i have discussed a lot 
about this Saturn Mahadasha and I have talked about every Saturn Antardasha period starting with Saturn Saturn and ending with Saturn Jupiter, the peak of Saturn Mahadasha, the last stage. So do listen to this podcast and very soon next month my new book is coming. Come back home to your root, to your source consciousness. And that is exactly what Saturn also wants you to do, to focus on expanding your awareness, consciousness. So let's begin with this podcast. I have shared a real life incident also in this podcast about a great saint. It is necessary that you understand all these things. Always remember, if I say anything to the point, it makes no sense. I have to give you a platform, certain things which will help you yourself to find the point, the truth. Always remember, a teacher is a pointer to the truth that you need to find yourself. And so on this note, let's begin with this podcast on Saturn Mahadasha and all the Saturn Antardasha periods and its results. Shani is a very practical planet by nature and so usually men or women born in Shani's zodiac sign, Capricorn or Aquarius are very pragmatic people and so the very first message of Shani Mahadasha is that you ought to be practical and if you are not then you will soon become a loser. Many people have strange ideas about spirituality as if you are spiritual and then you must not think about money, you must not think about sex, you must not think about family and relationship as if you should keep smiling and offer everything for free. But if this is what you think spirituality is then you are making an ass of yourself. The very first lesson of spirituality is to be practical and that is why Lord Saturn in the true sense is spiritual and because Saturn is spiritual, Saturn is practical to the core. In Maharashtra, there had been many great saints. One of them was Saint Eknath. Saint Eknath loved his Guru so much that he refers himself as Eka Janardhan. Eka stands for Eknath and Janardhan was the name of his Guru. And Janardhan Swami was also a great poet and saint. Janardhan Swami was a devotee of the Hindu deity Lord Dattatre. It is said that Lord Dattatre gave him darshan many times during his lifetime. Janardhan was appointed as governor of the fort at Daulatabad by its contemporary Muslim occupants. A great spiritually enlightened saint and he was guarding the fort. He was the governor of the fort. Many times he had to go out in the battlefield and fight for his state. And then again he would come back in his meditation room and would go in deep meditation. So you see, whatever was expected from him as a governor, he would deliver. He would go out in the battlefield, fight kill the enemy soldiers and then he would return to the fort and soon would go back into his meditation. This is how a true spiritual person is. He does 
what needs to be done and that's being practical and just like the great guru janardhan swami his disciple eknath swami was also very practical it happened once that janardhan swami was in deep meditation when a soldier rushed in he said that he needed to meet the swami urgently the disciple eknath maharaj inquired about the purpose of the meeting the soldier informed him that he needed to speak to the swami because enemy forces had gathered near the city saint eknath wondered what to do he did not want to disturb the guru's meditation but the situation was urgent quickly he thought up a plan and rushed to the room where the battle armor was kept he prayed intensely to the guru put on his guru's battle armor and rushed to where the soldiers were waiting praying to the guru he went to the battlefield seeing eknath maharaj clad in swami janardhan's armor the soldiers thought he was swami janardhan and went to battle with him they fought hard under eknath maharaj brave leadership and soon the enemy forces were destroyed eknath maharaj returned to the fort victorious as soon as he returned eknath maharaj changed back into his usual clothes put the guru's battle armor back in its place and went back to daily satseva service unto god as if nothing had happened soon swami janardhan awoke from meditation and heard the victory cries of the soldiers gathered in the fort janardhan swami ki jay victory to swami janardhan he could not understand why they were celebrating on hearing the story of the battle he realized that it had been his disciple eknath maharaj who had led the army bravely against the enemy he asked eknath maharaj dear eknath how did you manage to lead the army eknath replied swami ji before going to battle i just prayed to you and you did the rest janardhan swami was pleased with his brave and devoted disciple and so a true disciple is very practical when it comes to saving his nation his people he would not hesitate to fight and kill the enemy janardhan swami took maha samadhi while his disciple saint eknath took jal samadhi so you can understand the great heights of enlightenment that these great masters had attained during their lifetime the reason i had to share this example is that i want to help my followers realize that it is perfectly fine to be practical while being spiritual and so don't let people take advantage of your spirituality be as practical as you can because at the end of the day you will be judged based on how responsibly you carried out your duties towards your people your society your nation and that's exactly the strong message of duty driven lord saturn that if you forgot to carry out your duty then you will be punished during shani mahadasha however if you remain a dutiful sincere practical person who also cares for humanity and shows compassion then to such a person shani mahadasha proves highly beneficial however if you are like those hypocrite people who escape from their responsibilities and wear a mask of a monk then to such hypocrites saturn teaches a good lesson the whole taste of saturn mahadasha is based on how much you have learned 
and unlearned during your guru mahadasha if you have gone through a great transformation and have attained wisdom during guru mahadasha then you are a perfectly ready student who is ready to take on the world when saturn mahadasha begins however if you haven't much evolved during guru mahadasha if you have been a disinterested student who never took effort to learn and unlearn then it is like a novice who enters the corporate world and since he or she has not been a good student during their college days they seem to be incompetent and thus struggle a lot during saturn mahadasha and so the overall results of shani mahadasha or saturn mahadasha is highly individualistic by nature and differs from person to person however one thing is clear that if saturn is retrograde in your chart then the mahadasha of saturn may not prove beneficial from money perspective but will certainly open doors to your inner journey that help you realize more about yourself and your life purpose and so now i will share the generic results of saturn mahadasha or shani mahadasha though as mentioned earlier this is a highly individualistic mahadasha and can vary based on the person's evolution of awareness and how much inner growth he or she has attained during the previous guru mahadasha the first is saturn saturn this very first period of saturn saturn is actually good for a boost in career and income if saturn is well placed and in a good nakshatra then definitely the person gets good raise in his overall position in the society when saturn is positive rahu ketu are also positive this is because saturn is directly connected with your past life karma prarabdha karma the placement of rahu signify the quality of your desires and the placement of ketu signify the level of your desirelessness bhagwan raman maharshi says desire constitutes maya and desirelessness is god and so rahu is maya illusion ketu is the ultimate truth god consciousness and so it is obvious that when your saturn is strong and positive you must have had good quality desires as well as you must have attained the state of desirelessness in the matters of the house where ketu is placed and so for a positive saturn this period signify a good growth in career and status however if your saturn is not placed well then you will experience many challenges in your career and you may even get the feeling of being stuck in your career so it all depends on the placement of your saturn and the nakshatra in which saturn is placed saturn mercury if saturn and mercury both are placed well then you will get easy loans you will have an edge over your competitors and you would initiate and implement new business ideas or if you are in service then you may do exceptionally well in your project work this period gives you a very good analytical mind and so for all kind of analysts this is a good progressive period however if saturn and mercury are not placed well then definitely you will incur more debts more bad loans 
and this would be the start of your debacle if you don't control your bad finances so it all depends on whether saturn and mercury both are positive or negative in your chart accordingly the results regarding loans credit new business startups will manifest for some this period can also mark the start of some chronic diseases so one should take extra care of one's health during this period chances of depression and frustration cannot be ruled out if mercury is retrograde or if saturn and mercury both are retrograde in your birth chart saturn ketu in this period you start getting more clarity in those matters of life that ketu signify in your chart if ketu is placed in 7th house then you will now realize the significance of your wife and how much she has sacrificed for your career growth so depending on the house placement of ketu you will be able to see things as they are and thus one comes face to face with truth during this saturn ketu period saturn is always committed and has a certain mission saturn knows its final destination where he aims to reach but ketu is exactly opposite ketu is not bothered about destination and so the period of saturn ketu proves beneficial for those who were confused since now they get full clarity of what to do and what not to do however this positive development is possible only when saturn is well placed in your chart else this period can lead you to many unexpected changes and you may also face certain shocks of life during this period saturn venus period this period bestows upon you the maturity needed to manage your relationships with women if venus is positive then this period can actually enhance the quality of your life and you may align more with your partner and her ideas whenever venus is aligned with saturn it gives a mature partner who understands you always remember there are many people who know you but very few who understands you and so many times people find their soul mate during this period it is a wonderful period to manage finances as well as achieve growth in your job if you are dealing with medical domain or if you are a lawyer then this is a very good time for your practice to grow problems such as restrictions in love life can occur only if venus is retrograde in your chart else this period is usually a very positive period for love matters as well as financial growth is promised during this period saturn sun period sun signify creative expression during this period you will receive recognition for your creativity you may receive certain awards as well as you will become a role model for many young freshers who derive inspiration from you during this period you become an established entrepreneur or established professional who gains much respect and value in the society it is here where you become the big daddy or big mommy and people start recognizing you as the big boss so usually natives during this period attain promotion or if they are in politics they gain positions of authority problems can arrive only 
when sun is afflicted by rahu venus or ketu otherwise this period offers you the seniority that you always had craved for you are now accepted and recognized by your society as a man or a woman with a certain weightage in the society signifying your valuable contributions influence and respect that you have earned through your actions achievements and a positive impact on the community saturn moon period during this period the natives integrity scales up and in turn this development leads him to some path breaking inventions or discoveries samartha ramdas swami in his book dasabodh says dhurta pana dere ram meaning bestow upon me the quality of being crafty or being clever like a fox because in material world you need this quality to overcome the many challenges and defeat your enemies and their vicious intentions even to become a successful businessman you need to be clever and crafty a politician also need this quality of being clever and crafty otherwise his opponents will finish him in no time so during this period the native becomes more clever more crafty and thus can face all kinds of office politics with much courage and also can emerge as a good player who in the end wins and defeats his open as well as secret enemies by being more clever and crafty saturn moon combination reminds me of the clever crow this period also brings more awareness consciousness and the person is more human and judgmental during this period this period actually makes the native a solid opponent with whom you would not dare to meddle with victory in court cases victory in diplomatic circles and victory in office politics is guaranteed during this time frame and so usually the native gains much especially land properties during this period saturn mars period during this period saturn drives the energy of mars in the most economical and practical way saturn controls mars and so the speed of your life is now well managed by lord saturn mars is always out of control soldier whereas saturn is always a well controlled administrator and so this is a wonderful period for natives working at high positions in government offices or private companies many times it is observed that during this period senior executives are rewarded and recognized for their management skills as well as this period also brings a good balance in your life you are able to balance your work and family in the most efficient way possible mars is exalted in the sign of capricorn ruled by saturn this is because the out of control vast energy of mars is well controlled in the sign of saturn capricorn and so it is a perfect period to attain much growth in life during this period you realize the fact that instead of being aggressive it is always good to be assertive you show courage but only after evaluating all the pros and cons of the situation you deal in a more matured way when it comes to your siblings you show much maturity when it comes to addressing the issues connected with your land and properties so overall it is during this period that much of the churning happens through which you derive many treasures of growth and prosperity in life problems can occur only 
if mars is retrograde or placed with rahu in the 8th house saturn rahu period the impact of the saturn rahu period in an individual's life depends on the quality of saturn in their birth chart a positive saturn in the birth chart indicates positive prarabdha karmas or the fruits of past actions that have manifested in this lifetime thus in turn signifies a good quality of desires that have been cherished in the individual's mind desire is rahu and so during this period the fulfillment of these desires is likely to occur rahu is associated with desire and the saturn rahu period intensifies this drive leading individuals to become like a matured administrator who strategically plans their moves to achieve their desired outcomes this period can be compared to a skilled player playing their final game where they are more experienced and equipped to win with a master stroke usually this is a perfect period for senior politicians and senior executives they can attain success in their game plan as rahu is a master politician and if rahu is powerful in the birth chart then definitely the native wins and becomes the big boss whom the world salutes saturn jupiter period this period marks the last stage of saturn mahadasha wherein the native has learned his lessons and thereby has attained much wisdom and seniority and is now ready to deliver the message during the next mercury mahadasha during this period the native graduates from the university of life jupiter mahadasha had been more of a thesis and lectures to awaken you however saturn mahadasha has been all about real life experiences that helped you to evolve and become a full moon at this stage you are a perfect ripe fruit who can actually help the lost souls many become good mentors and many are also recognized and rewarded for their mentorship during this period it is the ultimate peak of your career where you are well respected for your wisdom and people seek your valuable advice so as the saturn mahadasha ends you understand that with great power comes great responsibility and so now as saturn mahadasha comes to an end it portrays a journey of trump and fulfillment saturn like a skilled artist molds a beautiful sculpture from raw material symbolizing personal growth and self discovery through challenges saturn refines and strengthens individuals transforming them into a masterpiece that stands the test of time this transformative period leaves a legacy of resilience growth and profound transformation equipping individuals to face future endures with confidence and grace in essence saturn mahadasha breathes life into one's journey leaving behind a legacy of resilience and personal transformation remember the exact results of saturn mahadasha depend on exactly what you are as an individual if your ego is very fat if your arrogance is too much if your ignorance is very high then it is the duty of lord saturn to bring you back to your senses and make you realize 
that you are as good as an ant on this planet and this realization is possible only when you go through many hardships and pains and sufferings which is necessary for a person like you who is very arrogant egoist and offending by nature however if you are an evolved person if you live with humility if you are always willing to be more understanding and human then saturn's workload is less then saturn don't have to punish you because you have already come back home to your roots to your source consciousness and so to such a humble person saturn mahadasha proves highly beneficial and saturn helps you to reach the highest point of your career where people recognize you as a beautiful person compassionate person always remember be kind whenever possible it is always possible and to such a kind compassionate wise person saturn is a dear friend who enables you to go more deeper into the realities of life and thereby emerge as a truly evolved soul always remember one who realizes that to understand everything is to forgive everything is a man of awareness and such a man of awareness is always found to be happy always jai shri ganesha jai guru गम गणपत नम ओ गम गणपत नम ओ गम गणपत नम